Welcome to my top five technology picks for day four of the NAB show in Las Vegas. Steadicam has recognized the consumerization of what is considered to be professional videography by releasing their $150 Steadicam smoothie. These come with specialized mounts weighted and balanced for the Hero HD, the iPhone, and the iPad. There were several other manufacturers offering similar rigs for these devices, but this one felt like the real deal and was actually less expensive than some of the alternative. WeVideo is a fairly new collaborative cloud-based video editing tool. You can set up project users and groups, and folks can contribute media and share editing tasks, all within a browser environment. It was really responsive and handles HD editing and distribution by providing automatic proxy creation and will render the final HD movie in the cloud and then simultaneously deliver to YouTube and many other social media platforms as well as any FTP location. The basic account is free and then priced from $7 to $80 a month, depending on your final resolution, storage amount, numbers of users, and other variables. Art Lebedev Studio is a Russian design and engineering company that has brought these fully programmable keyboards to NAB. Through their management interface, you can set an image file for each key to represent a specific function, and their Optimus Polaris keyboard even has an image display that can be driven dynamically by the computer. These can have applications in training or computer labs or for interactive kiosks. If you are a fan of Duke's Office Hours, you know that they have been incorporating Twitter feeds into their productions for some time now. Their process is fairly manual, so we've been looking for alternatives. Chiron announced their Twitter integration package this week. For a one-time license fee, you can bring in Twitter feeds and then display them with animation as if they were any other graphic element. More importantly, they allow you to moderate both the content of the tweets and the pictures associated with the Twitter accounts before they go on the air. And finally, the research engineers at the National Institute of Information and Communications Technology in Japan have integrated 3D visual, touch, sound, and even smell into a multi-sensory interaction system experiment. Although there is no real object, you can see it, touch it by using a force feedback pen, hear it, and even smell it, simulating a real interaction. You can interactively experience the tactile sense of a soft 3D virtual balloons and break them with the explosive sound and smell. It was quite impressive. Well, that wraps up the highlights for the 2012 NAB convention. Check back here in the next few weeks for the full show report with many, many more items of interest to the Duke community. Thanks for watching.